Welcome. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to create a table and the different ways that you can actually do the same thing and how Microsoft Access handles all these things. So I posted a link on the Access data types. So you can look at that. It's going to be in Module 4, and you'll see that under the lecture materials, it'll say MS Access data types. So I have a blank access database over here. I've already created a query, but we're not going to worry about that one right now. So we're going to create an actual table. So I'm going to click on Create. And we're not going to actually create a table through Access. We're going to do it through SQL. So it's really easy. Just click on Query Design. And it's going to give you any tables that currently are in the system. We have none right now. Regardless, you're just going to click on close. So once you do that, we want to be in SQL view. So we're just going to click on SQL view, and it will automatically bring up select. Now, I already have one loaded and ready to go, so I don't have to type it. And so all you need to do is type in create table. Now, notice the uppercase. Anything in SQL should be an uppercase. So we have the name of the table, which is going to be persons. And you'll notice I have different items over here with different variable types, data types. So the first thing I have is person ID, and it's integer, or INT. That works. Then we have last name, and I have bar chart 255. What that means is create a character but you don't necessarily have to use 255 bytes. What you're going to do is use up to 255. That will be the byte. That's all done internally. You don't need to do that. Then we have first name, which is the field name and the data type. Address, same thing. City. And now state, I changed this to character and two. We're going to use a state abbreviation. So we have character. We only need two characters in there. And then we have balance, might be how much they owe, and I've made that number. Now, notice the opening parenthesis here and a closing parenthesis and then a semicolon. Notice all these here are separated by a comma with the exception of the last one. If you have not spelled anything wrong, then this is your lucky day. When you click on Run, it should create the table, and it did. So that works out really good. Now, one of the things that is really not documented very well is the fact that you cannot tell it the decimal places in a number, regardless whether you use long, whether you use short, whether you knew, use just plain number. It will not work in Access 2016. So I spent about a week trying to get it to work, and it did not work. I thought I had it working, but it did not work. So anyway, let's go into our persons table, and we'll go into design view. Now notice that we had integer and number, and both were integer. Notice we had bar char and character, and it converted it to short text. You need to remember that. The access data type in there is internal. The SQL data type will not work if you choose short text and things of that nature. So you use char or var char. Make sure do you do that. So now we have the number. The size is a long integer. If you want to change it from here, you can simply change it. And you might want to make it a byte, an integer, whatever you want. And if it's an integer, then we don't need to worry about decimal places. So here, we really need to have a key. We're not going to create the key in here. That will be in the next video. If you wanted to create the key here, you would need to go required, yes. And you'd need to go index, yes, and no. Once you're done with that, it's going to create an actual key for you. There are other ways to create a key. The simplest way is to click on index and primary keys. Or you can click on this here and choose 
primary key. This itself does not make it the primary key. So we're going to change it and click on primary key here. And notice it's basically the same thing over here. And it has the primary key over here. Once we do that, we're good to go. Now, the field size could be integer. We could also make it auto uh, as far as increment in here. So let's just take a quick look at format, which obviously has nothing to do with SQL. But you can change any of the formats depending upon the actual number itself, which you have in here. So we do not really want to mess with that. Uh, if we want decimal places, we want to make it zero. Now, this is an integer. You might want to change the decimal places to zero in there. And there's all different kinds of things. We can have a caption. Let's take a look at default value. And there's all kinds of things that you can have in here. So that is it for now. There's also a data type called auto. So let's take a look at all our data types. So we can have number, blah, 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 blah. We don't want all this stuff. So let's just make this auto number. And then we're good to go. So now we have the field size is long integer. We can change that. We have increment indexed. And it automatically is no duplicates. So that takes care of this video. That's how to simply create a simple table without an index in SQL. Have a good day.